Good morning, everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we create a simple uh, application that has a menu and uh, how we share information between forms. All right, so we have, I already have a form and this form has just the text to enter your name. Uh, when you click on start, it would show um, some menus here and you can select from the menu that would take you to different screens. In the second form, I have another form, form two, which just has a simple thing called welcome. And this would include the name of the person that you enter in the first form. Okay, so this is how we share information between forms and then how we show this form. So we go to this one here. And all I'm going to do, there's something called here under, uh, under the toolbox, there's something called menus, menu strip. So I'm going to include it in my form. Now my menu strip, I can give it different names. So this is would be a different title. So this is would be file. For example, here it could be form, forms. It could be here about help and then, uh, okay. And then here in the file, you can have things like print. You can have, I'm just going to have only one thing called exit. And the forms, I'm gonna just have one form, form uh, two. Now let's add another one, form three. So you can have different forms. Here you can say about us. Us, things like that. All right, now this menu strip has, actually this has names, just like any other property, any other object. So this one is file menu strip. This is a form menu strip. And this is help menu strip. You can see that. Uh, now you can change these, of course. You can name it whatever you want. But we have also here you have exit strip uh, strip menu item. So what I'm going to do, you can enter code for these menus. But before we do that, you see this forms. It has something called forms menu strip menu item. So tool uh, strip menu item. So. When I first start my application, I don't want this to be shown. I want it to be hidden. So how do you do that? You double click on the form. There's something called form load. And then you just called forms. You can see that form. It should get forms. Okay, menu. Uh, strip but do you see that form menu tool strip menu item and then you can say hidden or uh, visible equal to false okay you can make it enable equal to true or false the same way so now when you start your application this form is not showing anymore or this menu item is not showing so here's what happens so now it's not there right what I want to do is that when I click on this I want to show this so what how we do that in here if you go back to the form same thing you just double click on this i already have something here let me just uh, control x this you just do the same thing here you can say forms menu items and do visible equal to true okay so now what happens is that when you click on run now it's not showing when you click on that it shows now of course you can do login and other things but we're, we're not doing that right now okay so this is just uh, showing you how to use menus all right now in the form one i have when i click on form two i want it to be able to show form two so how i do this double click on this and you do control v uh, we'll get back we'll get to this in a minute okay so you say form to f this is just a variable name you create the form so this would create the form and then assign it to a variable called or an object called f after that you can show the dialogue there's two ways to do that show the form there's one that's called form show and show dialogue the difference between the two is that one disable the uh, uh, locks the back of the form the main form when it shows the second form. The other one, it will allow you to access them. I can show you the difference between the two. So here, when I do this, when I click on start, this shows, now if I click on form two, here is form two, right? If I click on forms again, form two, I get another one, okay? 
Now, this is not how you usually create applications, but uh, uh, this is a simple way of doing it. So this is how form shows, form show behave. So I can still uh, access this form, okay? So how do we uh, block the, uh, the parent form so we don't, uh, we don't have, so we can't create more forms or show more screens? How you do it, you just do show dialog. So now it says here, when you click on start, you click on forms, now you click on form two. See, you cannot access, you cannot, you cannot access this, okay? You cannot and change it or, or access it, unless you close that one. Okay, so this is how you create, you show forms and create them, uh, I mean display them. Now if you want to have more forms, what you do, you go to Solution Explorer and you do right click, a new item or add, a new Windows form, and then you can give it, for example, form three, and then we have another form. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so this is now I have form three. Okay, it's important when you give it a name, this is the name that you use in your code. Whatever you put in here, this is the form that you use, this is the name that you use in your code. So it's form three, you use form three. If I say uh, uh, FRM, and then I call it uh, profile, for example. Then I would have to use this name to, to show it. So if we go back to the main form, here's that form, and I click on, double click on this to enter the code, I'll just copy this, okay? Control copy, Control V. Now here, notice, I will, cannot use form three, I have to use FRM form profile, okay? And then here it has to say FRM form profile. The other one stays the same. This for f dot show dialog stays the same. So now if I run it and click start forms form three, it shows me form three. Okay, all right. Okay, now the last piece in this is how we take information from the first form and show it on subsequent forms or other forms. How you do it? We define something called here. Uh, a static variable. A static variable, that means a variable that, uh, one variable in the whole application, that's one. The other thing we put here is called public. Public means it can be seen from other forms. So I'm saying I have one variable called name. This variable is static, that means one copy of this variable in the whole application, means in all the forms. And this variable is public means that other forms can see it, okay? So what we need to do, we go in here and we say every time I want to show the form, before I show the form, I want it to change the value to whatever I enter in the text box. So I say name equal to text box or a txt name, I call the txt name dot text, and that's it. Okay, now whatever I enter the text name, uh, what I enter in the text box is available in name. So this is your first step. You do it before you show the forms that uses this information. So now you go to form two, and there is something in form two, there is a method, just like the other one when we hit the menu, there's something called form load. When you double click on the form, there's something called form load. What do I want to do? I have the label, which is LBL name, dot text equal to what form one, because that's the name of the form, form one dot name. You see that? Okay. You can do the same thing in any uh, form. All you have to do is that you use this. You say form one dot name. It can be name, it can be number, it can be any other things. It can be an object, whatever you want to call it. But the way you do it, you use the name of the form and then dot the name of the variable that you defined as public and static in the first form. So this is when we defined it here, we said public, public, static, string, 
name and notice it's form one all right let's go back to form two and i want to double click one more here i want to just not just say the name i want to say welcome and then the name okay so i just put welcome and then the name of the for, uh, the name of the variable so now if you do this i click on start this form shows now this put a name and then we do form two welcome ali all right in form three because we're not using it nothing will show and there's no label all right so that is uh, an end of this video it's a simple way of displaying menus uh, showing forms and sharing information between forms all right i hope you find this useful in your assignment